Welcome back to another episode of the Intoxicated Sports Report with your hosts, Emerson Hip and Gage Samoji. Mm-hmm. We got Ooh. Garrett over here in the peanut gallery, as always. Hello, hello. What are we drinking today? Uh, well, you and I have these nice espresso martinis. They won't pick me up. Oh, I'm sipping on a vodka soda made by the best bartender in Napa. Nice stuff. Got the got, right? Yeah, the old trusty Miller Lite. <laughs> We've had a we've had a day today so far. So <laughs> get ready. Yeah. Yes. Celebrated. Thank you to the hips. We're not, we're not too bad right now, but we'll, we'll be fine. Celebrated Emerson's twenty sixth birthday. Which was a few days ago, but we're celebrating it today. Happy Labor Day too. Happy Labor Day. Yes. You. To, to all, all you working people. To all laborers. Laborers. <laughs> to all the people in labor. <laughs> union yep. laborers. We don't know anything about that. It's been a while since we've been here, so it's been, we got feel like it feels like it's been a couple weeks. It's only been what you said, eight days. Yeah, I think seven days between. So yeah, eight days since our last one. Yeah, a lot of stuff's been going on. A yeah, of stuff. <laughs> we got a lot to get to. <laughs> What's on tap, Ashley? With the seven day layoff between shows, we have a lot to talk about. We're gonna do a little recap on some NHL and NBA playoff action, but the big topic of today's show is going to be the NFL. Football oh, is here. Yeah. Ooh, I can't wait. Ooh, it's like Christmas. <laughs> Gage and Emerson are going to do a recap of the ISR fantasy football draft. Mm-hmm. And they will also be making their NFL season predictions. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I'm not Which Gage has a bold prediction on the line with this one. Yeah, I said we would have the same champion. Yeah, right? yeah that's Which correct. I really hope we don't. What do I have to do for that? I don't think we have to do anything because that's not that bold. Oh, no, what was yours? Oh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get into okay, it we'll later. later. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Um, a little quick note, uh, Kevin Harvick won race one of the NASCAR playoffs yesterday, locking himself into the next round and extending Emerson's point lead in the house standings. So over it. So the current standings are Emerson with 101 points. I'm next oh, with 84. Dude, is just laying it down this year. Gage is at 80, Garrett's at 73, and Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Alex Ridling, the love of my life, is at 34. That's a rough, uh, it's a rough spot for me. She didn't, it, that, to be fair, yeah. she, she got a little yeah. rowdy. She got rowdy. Which everyone about. knows that. Yeah, I'm only four behind you, though. I'm cool with that. My, the only thing about it's me, fucking bullshit. Blaney had a bad finish. And if he doesn't make the next round of playoffs, he's not getting no Ooh. points. So that's where you guys could Good. Get him the Good. fuck out of here. If that's what I yeah. can do. Blaney, come on, figure it out. You gotta have two years. They're kind of pushing to figure it out. I looked second. and it was. He's the only one who got you points this weekend. I know. Because <laughs> Denny got pushed out of Pit. Sucker. <laughs> pit. No, Pit. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so before we get into the beef of the show, we want to take a moment to give the beef. boys yeah. their little team recognition. Yes, we San wanna... Francisco Giants, we're going to give them some love. Yes. I know you love doing that too. I know how much you love, <laughs> love that. our Giants. Love that for you guys. Um, last Tuesday, they scored 23 runs in Colorado. Ooh. Alex Dickerson went Five for six with three home runs. He tied Willie Mays' record for in Giants history for total bases in a game. And he was a, and he was about four feet away from hitting four home runs. Seriously. Yeah, I don't care who you are. That's like a fucking game. That's impressive. And twenty three runs, even though it's in Colorado, that's doesn't nice. matter. That's yeah. nice. Twenty seven hits. That's ridiculous. So the Brandons, the Brandons, Belt and Crawford, <laughs> have also started to find their strokes to play Belt over the last eighteen games. 27 for 55, which is a 491 average with six home runs. His OPS during that stretch is 1.576 for all you stat nerds. 1576, that's fucking ridiculous. I just want to know who's hotter right now? Brandon Bell at the plate or the weather right now? <laughs> I don't know. It's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a teetering. It's, awesome. it's even. It's, yeah, even. it's a close one. They're feeding off of yeah. each other. Oh, no, that's great. Yeah, here in Napa, I don't know if, if you're from around here listening, but it's like 110 degrees. No, awful. Luckily, it's fine. We're fine. Yeah, luckily you guys have air conditioning in this house. Yeah, it's something that I have at my house, so it's, I'll stay here for as long as I can. <laughs> I'll stay here for as long as I can. Um, the Giants have worked their way into playoff contention. Can you say it one more time? No. 
currently sitting a game under 500. Wow. That's However, cool. they're really going to need to find some mm. consistency in their pitching staff mm. if they yeah. want to get yeah. there. I think right now they're actually sitting ninth because the Rockies won today. But yeah. the Giants beat the Diamondbacks, which they've owned the Diamondbacks this year. I believe still right in, there, right in that mix. I just want to mention Incredible. one thing. The weirdest thing I saw all the week was Madison Bumgarner pitching against oh, the Giants. Oh, I know. But the Giants tagged him for a couple dingers. Oh, yeah. Longo went way deep I was on him. Say, I it was saw just, that. Yeah. It's weird really? seeing Mad It's like the first time I ever saw him like, really pitch yeah, right. this season. Yeah, right. I don't like seeing him in that uniform. It's weird. Oh, it really I'm doesn't like, look right. It's weird when I see him and I'm like, he should be in the fucking cream. He really doesn't look right on And the Diamondbacks have ugly uniforms anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like a Giants scene. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good point too. I would never want to wear that. I would say the Giants really? have a good yeah. classic yeah. uniform. The Diamondbacks yeah. seem, seem to change theirs every other year. Yeah. They can't figure it out. Because they fucking suck. Yeah. No, it doesn't look right. Those colors. So we had uh, mentioned the A's were hot last week and are still looking good, sitting atop the AL West with a record of 23 and 14. They lead the Astros by three and a half games. Your Astros aren't doing too well, huh? Who's? <laughs> Who's? <laughs> uh, no, we, you're not talking to me. <laughs> uh, can we also talk about maybe your Yankees? No. How are they doing? <laughs> I don't. Just want to throw in there real quick. Struggling. Oh, they're not good. Struggling they're like me well. and Gage eating that chip. What right was here? I? I was saying to Emerson earlier. <laughs> I was reading an article like just recently. It was called. It was named. Could the Yankees miss the playoffs? New York needs to regroup. If yeah. they um, couldn't be in the top eight in the American League this year, even with the injuries, I think that'd be kind of embarrassing. Uh, it <laughs> says the Yankees won their first twenty-two games. Sixteen of twenty-two. Their first sixteen of twenty-two games, yes, and then they went. They've been on a five and thirteen ride. Nice. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I don't, I don't really mind seeing that. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, they could be their only hope to beat the Dodgers, so... Uh, yeah, so I think the Dodgers are just going to be by far blown through. Everybody. The Dodgers are fucking stupid, dude. They're like 30 and 12 or some shit. They're insane. They're so good. Uh, and everyone's healthy. Yeah. That's the thing. If the Yankees were healthy, it would be okay, but they're unwell. Let's just yeah. stop talking about the Dodgers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. Yeah. Moving on to the NHL playoffs. So, in the Western Conference, both semis went to Game 7, with Vegas defeating Vancouver. Boo! Big boo! Also, Dallas won seven of their series with Colorado in a dramatic fashion, winning 5-4 in overtime. Fuck yeah, big Dallas guy. So, T.O., 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 T.O. Emerson owes us a shot for his bull prediction on Twitter. (laughs) I do. Emerson, I'll give you credit, because he made his bull prediction last minute. I made this bold prediction at work. You, you know what's funny about this bold prediction, too? It almost happened. The game was 3-3 when I made it with about five minutes left. Yeah. And it was 4-4 going into yeah. overtime. Yeah. <laughs> so it could have easily not ended in regulation. Yeah. But, uh, so he said that Joe Pavelski would be the one to score in OT. And he was not. Oh, so, right. So Wind me up, baby. Let's go. One of these bad boys. Shot time. What do we call it? Rip some chilies? Rip and chilies. Rip and chilies. Hey, I don't know. I think that might be your guys' slogan for a t-shirt. <laughs> Taking shots, rip and chilies. We can't claim that, though. We yeah, yeah we I was going to say, I, I got to figure out we didn't make it who up. says that. Who we, says it? Can we buy it? Can we, like, can we like, buy the words rip chilies? <laughs> <laughs> we buy the rights to it? What's rip and chilies? <laughs> rip and chilies. Where'd you get that? It was a, it's just a video of oh. that guy. Connor, right? Yeah. Bruce I, Yeah. Yeah. I guess his name's Connor. I don't know. What, <laughs> name's uh, Connor. Name's Connor. Yeah, you take that shot. How's it taste? It's like it's been warm for four hours. I threw it in the freezer. Not bad. That Ooh. beer's probably cold still, though. I kind of just figured out that espresso martinis are like adult chocolate milk. Mm-hmm. That's a good way to put it. And there's no chocolate in there, either. Which no. is great. Wow. <laughs> Which is great. All right. Moving on. Wow. All right. So Vegas and Dallas began their conference final series yesterday with the Stars taking their first game 1-0. That's wow. oh, buddy. Over, the, Vegas. over in the East, the New York Islanders defeated the Philadelphia in seven games, winning the final game of that series by final score of 4-0. Fuck Philadelphia. <laughs> I agree. They will take our, quote-unquote, our Tampa Bay Lightning in the Eastern Finals. Let's go. With that series starting tonight. Let's go Bolts, go baby! Bolts. <laughs> Not to be confused with the Chargers. Sorry, Matt. They suck. I have a, I have a chance to Dallas have, my, all the way. have my Tampa and yeah. Dallas. Yeah, you're looking good. I'm Dallas looking is going to good. Dallas is gonna I'm be worried good. about Dallas, though. I mean, I know they won game one, one nothing. Hmm. But their goaltending situation, now that other Nashville than last failed night, me. a little, little iffy. The, the series between them and Colorado, 
I read had the most goals scored in any seven game series in NHL history. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And both and they were going back and forth, so both teams were scoring. It wasn't just That's a good wasn't stat. just Dallas. Like that. Yeah. Good lightning. Let's go Bolts. All right. So over to the NBA, starting with the Western Conference. Last Tuesday, the Nuggets pulled off the comeback against Jazz, winning Game Seven by a final of eighty to seventy-eight after trailing in the series three games to one. Shout so yeah, throwbacks like nineteen ninety-two. <laughs> yeah, I texted Gage. I was like eighty to seventy-eight. What is this like ninety-seven? And he's like, I was gonna say ninety. Yeah, I was gonna say. I was gonna say yeah. Throwback to nineteen ninety-three. I did also see a meme about someone blowing a three-one lead, but I didn't want to. Send it to <laughs> oh. So funny. Oh, she's Great. referring to the Warriors. They're still champs, though, baby. <laughs> I didn't want to send it out. She's referring to the Warriors in 2016 blowing a 3 1 lead against the Cleveland Cavaliers, which. Facts. Love it. Love, Love to series. see it. Who? Love to see it. Uh, Anyways. Uh, can we talk about how the, the Jazz, though, they blew it? They did. They I choked. Mean, uh, come on. I mean, we both picked the Nuggets to win in yeah. seven, which we were both spot on. Ooh. We didn't think it was going to go that way. But. No, no. I, I, <laughs> it happened. I, I, I didn't think they'd have to work for it that hard. I know. I mean, both those teams, were, I think, were pretty evenly matched on paper. Mm. Gary Harris did come back later in that series. I think that was made a difference. M- made a difference for sure. And Jamal Murray was playing like a man possessed. Oh, yeah. Jamal. And so was Donald Mitchell, though. Yeah. They, he both, was. they both played great. I think Don probably got a little worn out. But. Mm. I also saw a meme about... Uh... <laughs> Uh, Donovan Mitchell finding out his girlfriend could come into the bubble. <laughs> oh, he got sidetracked. <laughs> and it was a bunch. Of, no, no, no. It was a bunch of like memes of like uh, Michael Jordan coming in and like playing like a fucking. He was just playing like a savage. Yeah. After he found out his girlfriend. Could well, do you know the, the story bubble. behind Donovan Mitchell or by his by his girlfriend? Uh, uh-huh. There was like a video that came out of like her sucking his dick. <laughs> And then that's why people are making a big deal, like, oh, you know, so it's Jamal, Jamal, Jamal Murray. So he's a porn star, yeah. Yeah, or nice. it's Jamal Murray, his girlfriend. Oh, it's Jamal Murray, not Donovan Mitchell? Oh, yeah, it was Jamal Murray, Mitchell. yeah. Oh, yeah, Jamal Jamal Murray. Murray, yeah. Jamal, okay. So everyone's like, oh, he's stoked for his girl to come back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, so he got motivated. I like yeah. it. I like it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not motivated. going home. Yeah. But I guess, <laughs> but I guess if he went home, he would have got... He could have anyways, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but now he can... Still play basketball. He, he has he's having his cake and eating it too. Yes, exactly. That's what they call it. That's what they, that's they call it these call days. It. So on Wednesday, the Rockets took Game Seven of their series with the Thunder with a tight, sit tight. Let's go. One hundred four to one hundred two victory. With that win, Gage clinched a perfect first round of his playoff predictions. Thank you. Golf clap. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I was uh, fucking. I was some bullshit away from from having my first round be perfect, but. Hey. Gage wins this one. Tip the cap to you, sir. Thank you. Fill my fucking hat. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so, hoping, hoping my football predictions are the same, but we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll see about that. We'll get there. Both the Western Conference series are tied at one game piece. The Clippers and Nuggets play game three tonight. Tonight. Yeah. In the East, the Raptors and Celtics are currently playing game five of their series, which is tied 2-2. Yeah, do we have a score on that? Um, Give me an update. T minus 30 seconds. Uh, This is a huge game. Oh, yeah. Game the Raptors when narrowly they're... avoided going down 3-0 in the series on Thursday when... Oh, yeah. oh my God. What? It's 60-32 to 32 Celtics right uh, now. Yeah. Oh, it's almost yeah, half time. Oh. <laughs> wow. It's not even. Um... Yeah, that's uh, thirty four seconds left in the first. That's uh, pretty bad. Yeah, Damn, that's, that's uh, ugly. It's not good. I mean, I was gonna say because I was talking to my buddy, my buddy Danny bad. at work, and I was like, "Do you think?" Because he's a big basketball fan. I was like, "Do you think that was just a fluke? They have a little momentum, but the Celtics are still the much better team." And I think I, that's what it is. Yeah, I, I I believe that's what it, what it is as well. Yeah. Unfortunately, that shot by Ananobi was well, great. He literally just flicked to, it. to essentially save their season because yeah. we know. When people go down 3 0 in the series, oh, it's pretty much it's impossible. It's almost impossible, impossible to come back. I don't think it's ever happened, right? Yeah, no, but you can always blow a 3 1 lead, right? 3 0, okay. <laughs> <laughs> step, so, off that, step off that gas pedal. <laughs> <laughs> so, Emerson's Heat yeah. have surprisingly built a 3 1 series lead over the Bucks after winning the first three games yeah. against Tossie yeah, yeah. and Milwaukee. This, I want to remind everyone that I that I made a bold prediction that the Heat were going to go to the finals. Oh last week. my god! <laughs> so it took an over win, overtime win by the Bucks to in stay game alive four to avoid the sweep without Giannis playing that last half of that game. game you know what? Tomorrow. I mean, Jimmy Butler said, "Oh, the Heat, the heat relaxed when he went out," but 
I think they play better team ball when Giannis and Arthur's not on the court. I mean, it makes sense. Because they're not so... They're not Gian- so reliant. Giannis-centric. Yeah. yeah. And he's so predictable. When teams get in the playoffs, they're just going to focus their energy towards him. And they're, those guys don't hit shots when he, they're no. just standing around. No. Yeah, you got to play and, more team ball. Yeah, uh, Chris Milton played great yesterday. He did, yeah. That clutch three mm, at, the end. at the end of overtime. Yeah. yeah. I just want to say, though, about the NBA and these playoffs, I just love how... You don't really know what's coming, it seems like. Every other game... There's no standout team. No, there's not one. They're yeah, all good. I mean, I'd say the Clippers are. I think that was, that was our pick. Yeah. But... All good, but not great. It's just... It's cool that, like, you know, we were so used to the Warriors and the Cavs for so long, you just etch them in. Yeah. With this, like, I literally have no idea. I, I, I can see the Celtics going to the finals. I can see the Heat going to the finals. I could kind of see the Lakers if they figure it out. Mm-hmm. Do you think that's because of the season, like, breakdown, like, the I, way things have been going? I believe that could be a factor. Just, yeah. That could definitely be a factor. Yeah. But... But because I, it does seem so different from every season. Like, I feel like I'm not huge into basketball, but every season it's like, I know who's going to Yeah, go but at off. the same time, like, there's not I, – I don't even think there was a dominant team that we could from the just beginning. pencil in anyways. Yeah. yeah. So I think, well, yeah, well, obviously the Bucks had the best record, but I still feel like a lot of people wouldn't pencil in no. because of, like, what they did last year. And basically it's the, the unknown of not having – or it's the, the unknown of not that. having the experience. Exactly, yeah. yeah, for sure. That's what I really like about this playoffs is it's just – mm-hmm. you think you under, you think you know it, and then and boom, you know, the next, yeah. next game, you're like, wow. I, told I mean, you. yeah, like yeah. the Clippers look good on paper, and then they fucking stumble yeah. twice against the, the Mavs, and they yeah. stumble in game two against yeah. the Nuggets. And then the first game against the, the Nuggets, they smoked them. Yeah. And then they lost the Nuggets in the second game. Yeah. So it's like, what's really going on? Yeah. A lot of inconsistencies. Yeah. So I know everyone's kind of been waiting for this Ooh, for a little I, while, yeah. but um, it's football time. It's guys. are we on to this? Let's go, oh, man. We're going. It's it's back. It starts on Thursday. That's it's right. Football time. A few days away, baby. We see uh, Emerson's boy Pat Mahomes. Go Niners. <laughs> I bored. Yo, boy. <laughs> so Gage and Emerson are gonna dish out some draft grades. Nico's request. Uh, Nico always gets what This is for you, Nico. Shout out, Nico. I like the root, I like the suggestion though. Yeah. I think it was a good idea. We're not gonna do a full on draft grades. No, but. we're just doing. It's yeah. gonna go from our um, ISR fantasy draft. Yeah, yeah. We'll hear about the opinions on who has the best quarterbacks, running backs, wide receivers, and tight ends. Um, love to hear about the tight ends. So, <laughs> uh, Gage, you want to go first, or do you want to just yeah, go we're back doing, and forth? We're doing the start drafts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we'll go quarterbacks. So we're yeah. starting we'll just give our, yeah, we'll start with quarterbacks. No, tight ends are last. Um, best for last, right, Ashley? That's right. <laughs> so I Can't think wait. the best quarterback slash quarterbacks, you know, yeah. I'm not a huge double quarterback guy, yeah. but it's got to be the Washington Foreskins, <laughs> a.k.a. Sal. He's got Lamar Jackson. Okay, I like it. And he has Cam Newton as backup, which could be decent backup, but, I mean, he has the yeah. best fantasy quarterback. Yeah, for sure. I think. It's like a good gamble. I thought, it, yeah, I thought, to me, it would be easy to say... James, because he has Mahomes, and for, for you yeah. as, as well. I actually went with Matt. Uh, his team name is now the Scurry Murrays. Yeah, I did that last night. <laughs> um, he's got Kyler as his guy. I think Kyler could be a breakout candidate, yeah. and that's why I picked this one. And he's got Carson Wentz as his backup, okay. who I think could actually be MVP candidate. When it comes down to it, these guys are all going to drop their second quarterbacks. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's why I'm not a big when it comes down to two it, quarterback right. guy. Uh, the best running backs is the guy on the left of me, Casting Couch Kings. A.K.A. Garrett. He's got Saquon, Austin Eckler, Joe Mixon, and Matt Breida. I don't think there's anybody. I picked the same one, yeah. yeah. I'm a happy camper. I don't think yeah, I you're sitting pretty in running backs. I like my running backs, but they're not nearly not nearly the big names like you have. Yeah, no, you have the name, and yeah. all of your guys are young, too. Yeah. Not like you got some old men running around. I'm not crazy, ab- I'm not cra- I'm not crazy about Eckler, Joe Mixon, or Breida, but I know they can produce. They're all good players. Like, yeah. Saquon's Saquon. We, Saquon's know, we know about Saquon. For sure. Um, best running backs I gave to the Scurry, or best wide receivers I gave to the Scurry Murrays, a.k.a. Uh, Matt. He has Devontae Adams, DeAndre Hopkins, Odell Beckham, and Keenan Allen. I I did a tie. I, I picked Matt as well. But I, I want to give Nico some love for his... Uh, he had Mike Thomas, uh, Chris Godwin, and Robert Woods. With, with I, was, I was looking at him, too. Godwin did good for me last year. I also want to... Knock, knock down Matt a little bit for not drafting or only drafting one running back in the first 10 rounds. <laughs> That's the only reason he's got the quarterback nod for me and the wide receiver nod yeah. for me. The, yeah. um, best yeah, tight ta- 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 ends has got to be Frankenstein's fat foot, a.k.a. Danny. He's got to think alike. <laughs> he's got Travis Kelsey and Austin Hooper. Yeah, you know, we, we know what Kelsey's like, and Austin Hooper's a good tight end in, you know, for his, in his defense. Yeah. But I also got... Honorable mention, uh, Washington Foreskins, <laughs> a.k.a. Sal. 
he has Darren Waller and Kyle Rudolph. Yeah. And he got Sal got Kyle Rudolph <laughs> in the last round. The hundred ninety first pick. How did he drop that far? I uh, thought Kyle Rudolph is not. He's not a fan, good fantasy guy. Not really. He's like he rarely touched on defender. He's not going to put up a bunch of yards or something. I just thought, I mean, I thought him getting him was... That was He's a, a nice player that's a steal. in real life. I think that's a steal in the draft. That's the thing about fantasy football is, though, like, a nice player in real life, and it doesn't necessarily yeah, translate okay, stats-wise, you know? Yeah. So. But, yeah. Yeah. I, I want to do best overall team, but it was just so hard for me to... Go well, that's the thing about... Them. That's why I said that we should do it this way, because everyone's going to have their opinion that they have the best team when you yeah. have a, a snake draft. Like, yeah. everyone's going to get a pretty decent team, unless you just absolutely suck. So, classic us, we almost have the same yeah. fucking stuff. <laughs> but we're not going to have the same stuff for what we're about to talk about. Yeah, yeah I guarantee. I do want to say one thing. I, I remember saying, I think I have the youngest team in mm-hmm. fantasy football history. Did you do the... I did some research because I just wanted to see what it looked like. <laughs> of course you did the research. My average age is 24.73 years yeah, of age. Younger, that's team. younger than all of us. 2.13 years of experience. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. I mean, you really went for it. I really went for it. I, I mean, I'm tired because my... I mean, in, as far as fantasy goes, I'm I'm uh, notorious for just going with guys that have a reputation mm-hmm. and not taking chances. And this I do. Year, I do that a lot. This uh, year, I, I picked a lot of big names. Yeah, big names. exactly. This year, I, I want to take some chances. Took a lot of chances. I got four rookies, mm-hmm. two second year players, and then my most experienced player is Eric Ebron, and he's 27 years of age with six years of experience. Yeah. So we'll see how this goes. You guys lose. You guys are suckers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <they're> all suckers. <laughs> But you know, I think I did look at the teams. And one that came up was your team. Your team is pretty good, Garrett. I like that. your team too, Garrett. Yeah. I thought Nico's team was pretty good, which mm-hmm. doesn't surprise me because he's always good at fantasy football, which yep. is annoying. Um, <laughs> I went back to look at Matt's team. I didn't think it was that bad, except for the he fact has that. absolutely no running backs. Oh, except for that fact, his yeah. best running back is Cam Akers, who was a rookie, and then he has nobody after that. Yeah. He's basically the guys that he chose. It seems like he's banking on injuries or something. Yeah. Uh, for the start, I'm really hoping David Johnson can do it. bounce back. Yeah, Man, that'd you, be huge for your team. Huge for my team. All right, what's next? All actually, right, it's time to hear your guys' NFL season predictions. <laughs> Gage, let's hear your AFC division winners. So my division winners, I have the Ravens win their division. I have them going 14 and two. I have the Chiefs win their division. I have them going 12 and four. I have the Texans win their division. I have them going 11 and 5, and I have the Bills winning their division at 9 and 7. Do you have wild card teams? I do. I have the Browns, Titans, and Colts making the playoffs. Oh, nice. Browns, Titans, Colts. Yeah. Nice. All right. All right. I'm kind of out there. With the, I think I'm kind of out there with the wild card teams, but. No, that wasn't too bad. No. Yeah, we have the same division winners. We got the Chiefs and Ravens both going 13 and 3. Okay. Houston going 10 and 6. Buffalo going 10 and 6. My three AFC wild cards are going to be Denver, 10 and 6, Cleveland, 9 and 7. Indy nine and seven. I gotta say the Broncos. I should have probably gave them more wins. I mean, I gave them six and ten, but I do think they'll win more games than that. They're. I mean, I know I've I've been giving them a little bit of love on this show. Yeah. They're definitely a. I think they're a coin flip of what's going to happen for them, but I like the potential because I the AFC is not that strong, and I feel like they could have had that jump. I mean, Drew Locke being the starter this year, they got good running backs. I like their. I've always loved their defense. It's just tough that they're in the division of the Chiefs. Yeah, that's why I don't think they're going to no. push the Chiefs for the division title, but I think they, they could sneak in with at least nine wins. Yeah. All right, Gage, what are your NFC division winners? Ooh, NFC division winners. Yikes. Uh, have the Niners win their division. Don't like saying Let's that. Go. <laughs> uh, killed me to say that. I have them going 13-3. and three. I have the Saints win their division. I have them going 11-5. and five. I have the Vikings win their division 11-5. and five. And I have the Eagles winning the NFC East. God, we're, 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 we're so stupidly <laughs> similar. <laughs> I really, really wanted to give the Cowboys nice so the division, but it's just, I can't do it. I do have the Cowboys going 9 and 7, but I don't have them winning. Okay. My wildcard teams with Buccaneers, Packers, and Seahawks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing yours are the same. So I got the Niners, number one seed at 12 and 4. Um,. Saints and Eagles at 11 and 5 winning their divisions. I got uh, Minnesota winning the division at 10 and 6. But I have them, so I have the Saints and, and Bucks with the same record, but I'm going to give the edge to the Saints. 
I have the same exact Oh, he does. I have the Saints and Buccaneers at both 11 and, and 5. I also, yeah, just scratch it out. I also have Minnesota and Green Bay with the same record at 10 and 6. I have the Packers going 10 and 6, but okay. I have the Vikings going 11 yeah. and 5. So, I have, so my wild cards are going to be Tampa Bay, Green Bay, and then Seattle at 10 and 6 also making Wow, so we have the same exact Same exact seat, NFC. Or actually not the seating, though, because I have the... Like, like the way I wrote, like the way I read it was the seeding, like one through set, one through set. Yeah, so I have Tampa Bay five, Green Bay six, Seattle seven. I do have that, yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just slightly different records. Yeah. Uh, we wow. need to stop doing okay. the show. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's over. Yeah, we're it's just over. we're one person. It's, <laughs> it's over. It's official. It's over. Um. So, Gage, who do you have in the conference championships, the Super Bowl, and mm-hmm. who's winning it all? Okay, so for the AFC side and the conference championship, I do have the Ravens playing the Chiefs. And I have the Ravens moving on in the Super Bowl. Oh wow! Yeah, I think. Interesting. You know, I just I think they're I, th- I think they're going to be on a revenge season. Are we different? Yeah. And uh, for the NFC, I have the Niners and the Saints. Ooh. And I think Drew Brees is going to go to another Fuck team. Yeah, I, love that. I think I'm going to go Ravens, Saints in the Super Bowl, and I have the Ravens up top. It's my quarterback. <laughs> oh, you have the Ravens winning everything. I have the Ravens winning the Super Lamar Bowl. Lamar Jackson's winning the Super Bowl. Yes. Yeah. Got it. Nice. Yeah. All right. So. Conference championship games, AFC, I have Kansas City playing Baltimore. Yeah. Pat Mahomes is going back to the Super Bowl. Uh, okay. He's beating the Ravens. Back to back. Over in the NFC, I have everyone's favorite, Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Yeah. Facing off against the New Orleans Saints. Okay. Whoa. And the Buccaneers are going to the Super Bowl. Whoa. I got it. I, mean, I had a feeling you might pick Whoa. the Bucs. I couldn't do it, man. I got a 2018... AFC Championship rematch in the Super Bowl this year Except with Tom Brady and Tom Pat Mahomes. Brady. Yes, Tom Brady and Pat Mahomes are facing off. This time, though, Whoa. Pat Mahomes is going to get his revenge. Going and back, the Chiefs are going back to back. Back to back. back. Back to back. Back to back. Honestly, the, for me, the Bucks should be a powerhouse this year. They might take a little while to figure it out, which is why I don't think they're going to be you know a number one seed necessarily. Yeah. But I think they should be a powerhouse when it's all said and done. Tom Brady with those those weapons. Their defense is actually pretty good. Yeah. So they just need, I mean, they need Jameis not turn it over 35 times a year, and yeah. they won't have to be on the field. Yeah, all, I think, they, were they 8-8 eight eight or 7-9 and nine last year with him having 30 turnovers? Yeah, I think they won 7. I'll yeah. say this much, Tom Brady ain't going to have 30 turnovers. I would just not. like to think he's not going to. Especially oh, so with who he has on the field. Yeah. So do you have the Bucks beating the Niners? Or did you do I do, bracket? yeah. So as like as my bracket goes, so, I have. Uh, I just, I'm actually surprised. Niners, Niners and Bucks Niners. playing in the second round, and and the Bucks beating them. How many How many wins did you get the Niners this year? I give them twelve. You think they're just not gonna, like you know, you know, think the part of me or? feels like the Bucks are are gonna go. Yeah. I mean, if I was a super homer, I would easily take the oh, Niners because yeah. they're good. But I do love I do, I do love the story though. You know, I'm a story guy. I love. Mahomes and Brady. I love Tom Brady going to San Francisco, beating uh, Niners, uh, hometown yes. team, yeah. favorite team growing up. Yeah, I like that. Um, I like the Chiefs going back to back. That's cool. The Patriots didn't go back to back recently, did they? They they went and lost. Yeah, the know. year after they, they, went, they win, went back to back Super Bowls, but they did not win back to back. Yeah, that's right. Because yeah, that would be the first time in a while since they did it like in the early. Or did they go back to back? I thought they won three in four years. I remember watching the Super Bowl. On the, on the, <laughs> the I have to, to redo my research there because so, I, I can't remember if they did or not. My, I was right, my bold prediction. We you were champion. So cheers to Gage. We're not taking shots though. Fuck that. But I mean, yeah, the Ravens. I think they're just gonna they're gonna blow through everybody. Yeah. The Ravens. Place. Ravens are gonna be interesting to watch yeah. because there's like the revenge factor, like you talked about. But there's also a little more of a book on Lamar Jackson now, which yeah, could sure. be another factor to think about. Mm-hmm. We did. We did have three of four though in the conference championship. So we did. We're still kind of pretty the close. Same yep. I'm just glad we didn't have the same chance. Pretty much, Gage and I are really smart. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. We have the cheese going. All right. So in other football news, Sean Watson signs a four-year extension with the Houston, worth over 177 million dollars. <laughs> Johnny Manziel. Money, 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 money. <laughs> money. money. <laughs> Yeah, he got paid. I think I love the 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 length because he's going to be signed through twenty twenty five. He's going to be like twenty nine or thirty years old when he's a free agent again. He's going to get paid again. Love that. Do you, yeah. do you smart? Do you yeah. give them really the smart. Super Bowl parents the next four years with this? Contract? Absolutely not. Because <laughs> he's no it. Pat Mahomes, he's no Lamar Jackson. But I think he's a be- he's a better thrower of the football than Lamar though. He could be that. Yeah, I think he is. But uh, he's not as dynamic. 
Well, yeah. we'll see about Lamar. I think, well, I wouldn't say absolutely not. I, I'll take that back. Yeah. But, um... We need another year. I, I don't know about Bill O'Brien as a coach. I, I think maybe he needs to go. I'll give it to him. They make the, they win the division every year, it seems they like. Do. But they don't. Every year in the first round, they look like a fucking dud. And they got rid of DeAndre Hopkins. Yeah. They're lucky that Andrew Luck is not uh, playing anymore. Yeah. That's that true. might not be their division anymore. Yeah. So Josh Gordon re-re-signs with Seattle, still looking to be reinstated by the NFL. Yeah, but it's still up in the air. But I mean, that's cool for them. I guess. I'm, I'm not happy for him, I guess. But how many more chances? You know what I mean? We yeah, were I mean, kind of talking about that with Kyle. It. Like it out. was like how many? Like you're just gonna keep giving him chances. So like, what do you think he's gonna keep doing? Yeah, like, I'd imagine. Keep... I'd imagine he gets reinstated with the suspension mm-hmm. in hand. Yeah, the whole like, season, or no, nah, maybe like a half season or something like that. I which was, is what I would expect Antonio Brown to get if he signs. I was looking for him on fantasy. I was like, do I waste my time? Yeah, I, was, I did fantasy. the same thing. If you're yeah. doing like like we talked about doing a dynasty league, I think that would be the only oh, okay. situation. Where I even thought about it for our league. Yeah. Why, why not? Yeah, but I mean, he just keeps. But if he's gonna sit out for half a year, forth. then that's when you're like, I don't what's know. the point? Yeah. yeah. Although I don't think Seattle would have signed him if they didn't think he was for sure gonna play this mm-hmm. year. So. I trust Pete Carroll. A lot of people like Pete Carroll. I know he knows what he's doing. Yeah, he's, no, he's, smart. he's smart. He's a little sleazy, but you know. Yeah, I don't doing. remember who said it, but they were like, "Yeah, Pete Carroll's used to working with criminals." So. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh wow. Jeez. Fair. <laughs> Even me. It might have been Carrie. USC days. USC days. Uh, so Clowney signs with the Titans one year. About damn time. Twelve Jesus. mil. I know. I, I, I'm surprised it took him this long to find or get on a team. I think his. Problem is his asking price was too large at the beginning, and he, I think he's a little overvalued mm-hmm. in, to some degree, and that's so, that's why teams weren't willing to give him the money. So I was looking, I couldn't really find the like the number, but I'm sure well, the, t- the Titans had to have been in the top probably ten in defense in the league last year, right? They had a good defense, yeah, yeah no question. I mean, they made the AFC Championship. Yeah. We all know they had a good season. So I'm thinking this has got to be a, an upgrade. Or good, sure. good I mean, yeah, team. it's not going to hurt. It's not going to hurt. Yeah, Throwing a guy like him. Yeah, yeah he's, so good, I think he's a good player. I'm not huge on the Titans. I'm not, actually not huge for Tannehill being the quarterback of the Titans. Yeah. You have them making the playoffs, is that right? I have them with uh, I have them in the wild card. Yeah, yeah I think I, I think I had them in the 7 9. I have them facing the Texans in the wild card and the Texans beat them. Yeah. But, oh yeah, it's cool. Titans, I think they'll be decent. That's good for crying. Yeah. So now we have a last call. Woo, we just Ooh, whipped right we that blew through that. I thought we were going to talk about a lot more stuff. I thought it was going to be a long one, too. I think uh, we skipped Q&A this week, so that usually adds a good chunk to yeah. our episodes. But, but don't worry, fans. We will have more Q&A in the future. Probably next week. Next we week. love your questions. We do. We love answering them. I love reading them. We clearly answer every question because there's been some ridiculous ones. And it's, <laughs> yeah. it's all about having fun. So, no Kirk Cousins uh, made a pretty <laughs> iconic quote this week. If I die, I die. If I, so dramatic. If I die, I die. Shout out to Ivan Drago, Rocky IV. I thought this was pretty Let's funny. some background on it. Thought, I thought it was funny. I, that, I just, saying if I die, I die yeah. is funny. <laughs> I just think it's like a little dramatic for the situation. Yeah. I think then also afterwards, like... Everything that took place afterwards was also really oh, dramatic. Yeah, just the overreactions. To yeah, it was just said. like uh, he's yeah. gonna say what he's gonna say, and like yeah. we don't need to like be super dramatic over it. I don't, like, I don't if I know. die, I die. If that's how he feels, and like yeah. that's how he feels. Uh, I have no problem with him saying that. If that's, if that's how he feels, that's how he feels. Yeah, I just love the way he said it. Yeah. <laughs> if I die, I yeah. die. Yeah. It just it's, 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 it just reminds me of Rocky Four. <laughs> I just don't think it should have been taken so seriously. No, yeah. I understand. Big time overreaction. Uh, in the United States, coronavirus, it's a huge thing. Yeah. It can be taken seriously. It cannot be taken seriously by people. But, like, you got Kurt Coupons. Ooh, coupons. Shout out to Nick Warren, <laughs> Kurt Coupons. <laughs> Saying, if I die, I die. Uh, but uh, it also, I guess, puts it into perspective of how, I guess that's kind of the first thing we've really heard about, the NFL players. Yeah. Really speaking out, like that's your first NFL. Yeah, I, <laughs> like, I do, I do think he should have maybe realized, like yeah. The, the yeah, what he was really how saying. the world is right now. Yeah. Maybe yeah. not probably not that. the right thing to say for sure. But you know, it, he said it and it's over, and I thought it was pretty hilarious. <laughs> I was gonna say it, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, he, he's. I get that he wants to just be able to live his life. And not have, without worry. Live in fear, not living in fear. Yeah, not living in fear, yeah. I think the, 
what he said didn't really go with like what he meant to say. No, that's like, that's 100%. If I die, I die. It just seems very dramatic. <laughs> There's the no way that no way he that. actually is like just gonna accept death. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like if he got coronavirus, you wouldn't be like, all right, I'm just gonna fucking die. Yeah, it's, it's cool. No yeah, like deal. fuck me. Like probably didn't really mean what he said. I'm, sh- I'm sure he did say it. I'm sure his wife or his girlfriend is probably looking look at him now, being like, why would you even say? Why did you say that? Like yeah. you, you gotta understand what you're saying. At you the time could have you're said so many other things. He 110 percent regrets. Yeah. What he said. <laughs> I'm sure. I bet you the Vikings contacted him like, dude, why would you say why? that? Why? Yeah. Like, like, like Mike Zimmer like, wasn't happy. Yeah. I think it was just something that kind of just like rolled right off the tongue. Right. Well. And, just like when he said, you like that, after winning a game, that, that just spewed you out. Like you like that? <laughs> <laughs> He's known for the quotes, man. He's known for the quotes. Her coupons keep them coming. That's a catchphrase yeah. himself. Uh, Steve Nash was hired by the Nets as the head coach. My boy, Steve Nash. Oh, I, like, I, like, I like Steve Nash, yeah. I like Steve Nash a lot. Everyone that, yeah, you know. He was over last weekend, did you? He was, yeah. He was on the upside. He was taking shots, taking jump shots. You know, <laughs> all the above. No, I like the hire a lot. Um, I think he's a smart guy. I don't think he would have taken this job because he has not publicly put himself out there as a head coaching candidate. Yeah. So I don't think he would have taken this job. If he I don't think he's, he's, he's never right been a head coach. In, in no, he yeah, hasn't. I mean, he, he was a consultant for the Warriors for a couple of years. Mm-hmm. Um, so he kind of got to watch Steve Kerr do his thing. But, I mean, he's one of the, the best point guards of all time, like we talked about last week. And yeah. being a point guard, I think you kind of see more than any other position. Um, you know, as far as the game goes. I think a lot of this was depending on Kevin Durant, too. Yes, there's a lot of reports that say he reeled him in. Because they, they worked together a lot in, in Golden State. Yep, yep. And yeah. I also read that uh, Kyrie and KD wanted somebody they respected. That's something I read. Yeah. Which makes sense. I mean, how can you not respect yeah. Steve Nash? He's back-to-back MVP. 100%. One of the best to ever dish the rock, you know? Yeah, no doubt. So I like the higher line. That's cool. I think the Nets are going to be interesting next year. I mean, yeah. Kyrie and KD playing together finally. They got a decent supporting cast. Dinwiddie and uh, mm-hmm. Karis LeVert, nice players. I think they'll be a, they'll be a top three seed in the East. They'll, yeah, they're going to push those teams like Boston and Toronto and Milwaukee next year. I sure. think they'll struggle at first like most of those teams. Yeah, try getting to chemistry, chemistry too. It's kind of like the Heat struggled. It didn't seem like the Warriors struggled with KD, but that's just, you know, because they're just a different breed when it comes to basketball. Yeah, no doubt. No, no, no. Yeah, I expect, I expect big things from the Nets last, next year. Me too. I think everybody else does. So John Morant wins for kid of the year. How do we feel? Almost unanimously, someone. Hundred percent. There was only one vote for uh, Zion, and the rest was for John Morant. He deserved yeah. more. No you question. called this, didn't you? Well, I, I you were on the I, John Morant train. Yes, I think even before the draft, I was like, I feel like Ja would be a better long term player. This is more of a guards league than it is. I mean, Zion's a fucking power forward. He's, He's a, a tank. tank, and he doesn't really shoot. He's a bowling ball. Yeah. That's what he is. There's no. There's not. I know. He may be exciting to watch, but there's, I mean, so is Blake Griffin, but Blake Griffin ain't winning shit. And those were, those, and those were the, some people were giving him those comps, too, yeah. which I don't think is crazy. Yeah. I think he has a lot more upside than Blake Griffin did coming out of college. Yeah. But lot, I, got, I got no issue with John Morant. I've heard a lot of people say that they're worried about Zion because of his size. I mean, that's not news, but the fact that it's, he doesn't seem to have that spring that he had in college anymore. No. And, I mean, you're going to gain that back? Mm. After a while, or yeah, they don't, they don't like all the torque you put on his body. He yeah, on his body. just too much stress on his knees and whatnot. And he's already had plenty of injuries in the NBA, let alone college or overall. Mm. So, yeah, good for him. Yeah, you know, I think I do think he needs to get out of Memphis. Yeah, I would like to see that. I just don't. See it's hard Memphis. to say though, because like you could have said the same thing about a guy like Seth Curry being on the Warriors and them sucking for yeah. years and years. That's um, true. So, I think you give Memphis a chance okay. to build. Um, or you could be, or you could be like Giannis and be the back back MVP like we all think he's going to be, and then yeah. the Bucks are about to get bounced. Yeah. So I don't really know what the deal is. Yeah. Yeah. So, but no, if you want to stay in Memphis and try to build it, then I respect that because Memphis yeah. was good not too long ago. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they were. Like, like Mike Conley, Gasol, Gasol, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they're, so they're, it's not like, like they're bums. They were the ground and pound team. <laughs> yeah, throwing down to Zebo and all that. <laughs> Zebo, <Zeebo. laughs> number like yeah, number big, fifty, big number fifty, exactly. <laughs> <It's> that guy. <laughs> No, I, I like the potential for uh, Ja and and the, and the Grizzlies. Uh, I mean, obviously, after his rookie contract's up, if he doesn't see any p- future, mm-hmm. I wouldn't blame him for leaving. But yeah, I think he should definitely give that a chance. Mm-hmm. 
So, um, Daniel, Danny, Del Taco, Darts. Del Zombo, Darts. Darts. <laughs> Friend of the show, on? hasn't been on yet, but he will be. Yeah. He had a bold prediction for he us. Did. Yeah, the bold prediction he took on Friday. He did take a shot for it, have a video of it. What did he shoot? Uh, T does. Nice. Shot vodka. Okay. Uh, nice. Side note, the three, the three of us almost killed the whole handle of T. <laughs> You hit my There was about an inch left. Nice but, work, boys. I felt. I mean, I felt. I was hung over, but I felt fine. No, it was actually scary that I felt. You mean like, you, you said a handle? <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's a healthy amount. That's a, that's <laughs> work. Yeah, it's like I'm actually a little that worried that I felt okay. Yeah. We I were. Yeah, yeah, we were drinking. You know, Lacroix, Lacroix vodka. Nice. Yeah, it was pretty nice. Good. But Danny's bold prediction was that he was gonna beat me at frisbee golf in Lake Tahoe when we go there in a couple <laughs> weeks. And you know, I'll give him this. He was feeling good to the day or that day on Friday. We had played, and I think I'd only beat him by about six strokes. So I can understand why he was feeling good, but, you know, I guarantee that I'm going to beat him in frisbee golf. I just, I just do. Is that a bold prediction? Danny, I'm going to give you one of these. <laughs> you can't hear it, but... I don't think it's bold, though, because I think I'm better than him at frisbee golf. Oh, that's not bold. Right. It's bold from Danny, for yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's bold from Danny saying it. Yeah. But, you know, I'll give him the respect. I like the... For the confidence. I like yeah. the confidence. But I'm going to tear that ass up when we get on the frisbee golf. Ooh. I believe that. So rolling into that, um, yeah, speaking of, what what is your proposal for listeners, fans, whatever we're gonna call y'all, with yeah. videos of themselves taking a shot after they give us a bold prediction? Yeah, I have this idea that it'd be cool if the people that follow us on Instagram or you know even Twitter, or Twitter, right, or whatever. Yeah, great. Uh, you guys can send us videos of you guys taking shots of anything you want. It could even be like you chugging a beer or something. I don't really care. Yeah. But um, your, your guys, bold. your guys is bold predict sports, or bold sports, but, excuse me, bold sports predictions. Yes, and we'll get them. We can post them on our Instagram. Yeah, and we can yeah. especially talk about them on the show. Yeah, I'll keep it written down. <clears throat> see if it happens or if it doesn't happen. Yeah, so send them to us. Yeah. Put it in your story. story yeah. Either story, tag or if you yeah. want to go big posts on your on your feed, yeah. whatever you feel like doing. Make, make sure, sure you tag, tag. Sure intoxicated you tag. sports report. Yes, send them to us, and we will repost them. Yes. Unless they're like, totally invalid, like, oh, I think the Chiefs are going to win the Super Bowl. That's not a bold It prediction. has to be bold. Right? <laughs> yes. Don't um, give, give us something bullshit. bold. Don't and be I, old. I, I, don't have a, I don't have the definition of what a bold prediction or a bold yeah, Y'all can figure it out. You know what it means. Y'all can figure it out. And so if you guys want to do that, great. If you don't, then hey, it's cool, too. We love to see it. Yeah. We love your questions, too. Love the questions. Keep we'll those back coming. To next week. Yeah, yes. keep those coming. Yeah. I do have some other things I want to talk about. Best thing I saw in sports this week was by far uh, Emerson's Kansas City Chiefs giving a Super Bowl ring. <laughs> I thought it was great. Those, what about Pat my... Mahomes' girlfriend getting her ring? <laughs> I mean, if that's what Pat wants to do with his, li- with his life for his wife, then that's... Uh... Big boo! <laughs> I mean, she's not... She's cute. Sure. I'm just saying, on the not same just, weekend, yeah. the same weekend, you get your Super Bowl weekend? Or you get your Super he, Bowl cl- He clearly planned that out. Right, but like... It's a fucking cheese ball. Oh, no. <laughs> the fucking cheese They've been together since high school. I saw pictures of them like a, you know. Yeah, they have been. Like sure. turnabout Go or whatever, and then prom, and then in college. I just think, Mister? you take your ring, have your weekend for your ring, yeah. and then give me my fucking weekend for my ring. Like, we don't need to share this. <laughs> Another thing I want to throw I don't feel bad for her at all. I don't feel bad for her at all. <laughs> I feel bad more for him. Because now every weekend you talk about it, it's like, oh my god, that's the weekend we got engaged. And he's like, I literally got a Super Bowl ring that weekend. You know, I did want to make a bold prediction that (gasps) I didn't do. I want to say she gets pregnant. (laughs) That's a bold prediction. Pretty bold. That's not that bold. That's not that bold. You know it's going to happen. They're both in like fitness and stuff. I don't think. You know it. Yeah, but you know it's going to (laughs) happen. Now she's pissed because she wants to get you to take a shot. (laughs) Just just let him take the shot. I don't know. I was like, do I do this bold prediction? Do I not? So I'm gonna I think it's bold. I don't think they have put off vibes for having children. It's going to come. You already planted the seed, I guarantee it. It's going to come, no pun intended. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what was the other thing you wanted to throw in? I wanted to throw in, also on Friday, I watched the Nature Boy documentary. Oh, yeah. 30 for 30 about yeah. Ric Flair. Yeah. You know, woo, woo. Yeah. And woo. there's just two little, two little... Thing, or two little stats I want to throw in there that he said he's been with 10,000 girls in his life which <laughs> which, which is about 9,997 more than me you know, I'm getting there. and another thing he said is that he from 1972 to 1989 drank 10 beers and 5 mixed drinks a day 
And this man is still alive, by the way. It's incredible. Barely. It's incredible. Didn't he, like, I forgot scared? I watched that. That was a, that was a decent yeah. one. So, yeah, so he was talking to a medical professional about this, and the guy asked him, so how often do you drink? He's like, I drink about 10 beers and five mixed drinks a day. And he's like, how long have you been doing that for? He said, well, I've been doing it since 1972, and if it's 1989, then it's about almost 20 years. And the guy said, that's impossible. What do you mean? He's like, what do you mean? I've been doing it for the past 20 years. And the way, the way he said it, the medical professional was just baffled that he drank <laughs> that much alcohol a day for almost just 20 years. And he's still yourself. alive. Destroying himself. <laughs> Destroying yourself in the ring and with the liquor. Don't you? get any ideas, no. listeners. Like we're not, we're, we're not, not advocating that. Yeah, we're not no, 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 telling no, 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 no. you to do this. I just thought it was like those, Organ, promise we're not telling people. Those to do two this. stats to me are incredible. That's yeah. insane. And that's a lot of sex and booze. It's <laughs> a lot. He's like a rock star. Oh yeah. It's I mean, he's basically he might as well have been. Yeah. He's an actor. He was. I mean, he's he's like the Mount Rushmore of WWE yeah. and WWF. Yeah. He's yeah. Trick Flair, the Nature Boy. The <laughs> Nature you know, Boy. Uh, Limousine riding, jet flying, kiss stealing, wheel and dealing, son of a gun. That's just what he is. Kiss stealing. <laughs> Ooh. Fucking Ric Flair. It was I'll, cool though. I do recommend it, everybody watching it. It was good. Yeah. I remember that one. That was a good one. Came out uh, 2017, I believe. That's, That's one thing ESPN has nailed is the 30 for 30 documentaries uh, yeah. that are, most of them are pretty damn good. Yeah. I want to give a little shout out to uh, Freddie Freeman. Okay. I don't know if you know who Freddie right. Freeman is. He's the first baseman for the Atlanta Braves. <laughs> he had his first grand slam. Yes, and you first steal it from me. <laughs> okay, but that's not I it. I saw this. That's not it. So Freddie Freeman is now, I believe, in his 11th season. Yeah. He hit his first grand slam a couple of days ago of his career. Dude's hit 230 plus home runs in his career. Just finally hit his first grand slam. One grand slam. Two days later, hits his second career grand slam. Fuck yeah. Fucking love it. Love Ray Freeman's a class act. Too. I do love him. He's yeah, a great guy. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. Great dude. Uh, can we also mention that our point. boy, Mike Trout, his 300th home run. He did. He did see he did. that. He became the angel of all time. And remember we were talking about before the season, if he was going to hit 300. Yeah, and he did it like, I mean, they got 20 games yeah. left. He, easy. He did easy. Yeah. Ever since he had his son or his daughter, yeah. he's been Seems like he's he been hits one every day. Oh, he's been crushing it since he's he got just, back from I mean, eternity. I wouldn't like to win a ring so bad, but yeah. it's just not going to happen. Not, not soon. Not anytime soon. Not with the uh, contract he decided to. They need to find some fucking pitchers. Holy shit. So what's funny about him hitting 300, and he's the new leader. The previous leader had 299 with the Angels, yeah. and he just couldn't hit one more. Tim Sam. I think he not has fun. 300 that's career, fun. but I, don't, I think he might have played with another team, so yeah. that's why he probably wasn't thinking about it. But still, you know what I mean? Like, you have 299 no, yeah. with a team. Like, you're the all-time yeah. leader, and you can't get that one more to even it well, out. it's like, I think A-Rod has, like, 696 career yeah. runs. Like, fuck, he was that he was close. Four, four away from 700. Yeah. Well, that's like with Barry Bonds. I think he is only, you know, 40 or 30 off of 3,000 hits. Yeah, yeah, he was and fairly close. For which he probably, if he would have played career. another season or something like that, he probably would have got that. He probably know? could have played another season with the... <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, good episode. Mm-hmm. Short and sweet. Well, yeah. sort of. Thank you for listening. As always, mm-hmm. we appreciate it. Stay tuned next week. Give us some shit uh, on the uh, whatever I post about our NFL predictions. Yeah, please. I want to hear it. I'm yeah. sure uh, Max Navarro might talk shit about it. I actually, I like that Max Navarro. He he gives us a oh, yeah. he gives us a hard time. I like it. Yeah. Gives us something to think about. So I like other people's opinions since yeah. we seem to have the same ones. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just a little bit. So yeah, should we just should we make our set own, own show with other people? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we right. just have someone else to yeah mediate. No, we're not. We're not first take though. We uh, no, we're not going to make fake stuff up on yeah. the show. We're not fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how we roll around. Yeah. All right. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week.